If I asked you what are the symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, you'd most likely answer joint pain, inflammation, stiffness. But did you know that rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases can affect your eyes? Dr. Faisal Hawk of the Key Whitman Eye Center in Plano is here to tell us how. Welcome, doctor. Nice to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. So today. tell us about this connection between arthritis and our eyes. I've never heard of that before. Yes, so absolutely, rheumatoid arthritis is associated with eye problems. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to make a distinction between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Okay. Many of your viewers probably have osteoarthritis. That's just normal wear and tear of the joint. And that is not associated with eye issues, so they don't have to worry. Um, however, patients who have rheumatoid arthritis, um, that's a totally different disease. Um, rheumatoid arthritis is an example of an autoimmune disease right. where the body's own immune system creates antibodies against its own tissue, um, usually the joints, but also other organs, including the eyes. So what other, that's one of a cluster of autoimmune diseases. What other autoimmune diseases can affect your eyesight? So in addition to rheumatoid arthritis, uh, the common ones are lupus, psoriasis, multiple sclerosis. Right. Um, patients who usually have these conditions, they're under the care of a rheumatologist. And you know, medicine has made great strides in treating these diseases, um, but sometimes actually the medications that are used um, can have side effects that affect the eyes as well. Hmm. Um, and the big one is this drug called Plaquenil, which is a, a great drug. Pa people have really benefited from pl Plaquenil. But one of its side effects is that it can cause toxicity to the macula, which can affect vision. So people who are on Plaquenil need to come in regularly for eye exams. Um, we'll do some special testing, and if there is right. any signs of toxicity, we can detect it pretty early and prevent problems. Obviously, it's important <coughs> to stay in touch, close touch with your rheumatologist. What other problems can a patient encounter? So the most common um, symptom uh, or most common problem that people have uh, who have autoimmune disease with their eyes is dry eye syndrome, and sometimes that can be very, very severe. Um, in addition, people can get inflammation of the front part of the eye, the clear part of the eye called the cornea. Um, they can get inflammation of the white part of the eye, a condition called scleritis. They can get inflammation inside the eye, uh, which can sometimes lead to severe vision problems. Um, and secondarily, people can get cataracts and glaucoma as well from these issues. So what about treatment? I know that you always advocate for anybody getting an annual eye health checkup. <clears throat> Sure. So as far as treatment's concerned, if somebody has autoimmune disease that's affecting their eyes, the most important thing is to get prompt attention. Um, once the patient's in our office and we diagnose them with inflammation in the eye, we'll start them on usually anti-inflammatory eye drops. Um, sometimes they'll require an injection of medication in the eye. Um, usually we'll work in close coordination uh, with their rheumatologist and treat the underlying condition as well. Um, so you, you talk about the uh, annual eye exams. I think that absolutely that's something we recommend for everybody over the age of 40. Um, but people who have autoimmune disease in particular, we're going to be looking for signs of inflammation, and we want to get it early so we can have a better prognosis. But even people who don't have autoimmune disease, um, you know, we're looking for glaucoma, cataracts, mm -hmm. um, macular degeneration. And the earlier we get to these uh, problems, the better off the prognosis. You mentioned 40, an annual eye exam. What should you do under 40? Is there, should you have them periodically? <clears throat> well, I think, you know, just if somebody's having issues with their vision, for sure they should come in. If they have any kind of symptoms, they should come in. Uh, but definitely after 40, yeah, we think even before that, it might not be a bad idea to come in maybe once every couple of years. But specifically, if they're having problems, for sure they should come in. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor, for being here. Key Whitman has several locations that you can find out about at the Key Whitman Eye Center in Plano. Where are the others? So I'm at the Plano location. That's where I spend most of my time. Uh, we have our main office in Preston Hollow. Uh, we have an office in Mesquite, uh, one in North Dallas, and then two locations in Arlington. Okay, thanks very much. You can call Key Whitman Eye Center at 214-220-EYES for more information or to schedule an appointment, 214-220-3937, or, of course, go to keywhitman.com.